When Stable Diffusion 2 was launched, one of the important aspects was the depth to image model. A lot of people were fascinated by the depth to image model, which is you can give an image and it's going to calculate a depth map of that image. Like you see here, it's going to calculate a depth map of the image. And then based on the depth map, it's going to do image to image. So rather than replacing an image based on just the style, it's going to create a 3D depth, like kind of 3D depth based on the 2D image. And it is going to replace it exactly in with the very similar context that you give and today you can use the depth to image model in a very intuitive UI and I'm going to show you how you can do it. The first thing is let me show you a demo. The demo here is I've uploaded an astronaut picture and then I've said I want a beautiful ape in the space suit and you can see how the astronaut picture and the ape picture look very similar in terms of the depth, in terms of the style, in terms of everything. That is possible because of the stable diffusion depth to image model. And how can you access this? All you have to do is go to this amazing GitHub repository by Kunash, click open, open in collab so that you get the UI in collab. Uh, sorry, you, you get you get to use this UI powered by Collab. Once you open this Collab, just run everything. You run everything starting from top to bottom. And after you run it, go here and then select the depth to image model. After you select the depth to image model, and when you run your first prompt, it is still going to download certain models. So you might have to wait for like two, three minutes over there. But after that, everything is going to take like 50 or 60 seconds. So what you have to do, click depth to image model, upload your favorite picture and then add your prompt and also your negative prompt, then select the number of steps that you want. For example, here I've got an image. Let's say let's start from scratch. I've got an image of astronaut here and I'm going to say a beautiful um, panda in the space suit and then click generate. Once I click generate, it is going to take, like I said, like 40 or 50 seconds approximately, which is slightly more time than your typical stable diffusion image generation, but you have got the model and it is going to generate an image. So what it is trying indeed is, it is very similar like image to image, or in fact, like you're in painting model, but rather than creating an image to image, it's going to create a depth of the image first. So it's going to create a depth of this entire thing. And then based on the depth, it is going to create an image for the prompt that you have given. And then it is going to create and fit that inside this where it is going to be useful. It is going to be tremendously useful if you're going to do modeling. For example, you're doing some fashion photography or sports photography, and you've got one depth image. Now you can replace it with a lot of celebrities that you want without having them in different places. And that is exactly what we have seen here. Like for example, you have got an astronaut image, but instead of having a different picture with let's say a giraffe or a panda, you can have an astronaut. Like for example, you can have a female astronaut, a female astro, astronaut is it correct astro not the spelling is wrong a female astronaut in a space suit and then you can generate it so your original image was just a male astronaut but now you can have a different image and again because this uses stable diffusion 2.0 it's always good to have some negative prompts like we have seen on a separate video how important negative prompt is if you have not seen i would definitely recommend you to check out my stable diffusion playlist where you can see all the other videos so now you can see that you have got a female astronaut in the space suit and now you can replace it with anything and you want and you can also try out with the different images like for example i've got another image this is another image where i've got a space um where i've got an astronaut another in interesting image i tried is i've taken a cricket player here now i can say i want um i want like for example this is virat kohli and i can say sachin tendulkar in the cricket game and then I can generate it. The image may not be as perfect as it's possible because you can see now when it creates a depth image, it has to create a lot of depth. For example, this is a very wide shot. The depth image to model, depth to image model would work fine when you have an image with a less number of components in it. So on a wide shot, you have got a lot of items. Like for example, you have got the cricket bat, you have got the ground, you have got the helmet, and you have got the human being in itself. So you have got a lot of things. So the resulting image may not be as perfect as possible but you can see that it is very close you've got everything in place and the picture finally looks like Sachin Tendulkar even though it is not exactly Sachin Tendulkar but this is how exactly you can use stable diffusion depth to image model this is quite magical you can also see certain examples that the 
stabi stabi stability.ai team has put together as a blog post like for example you have got the vr kit how can you change the vr kit just by simply using depth and this is quite amazing and i would strongly recommend you to check it out how can you check it out again to quickly summarize back go to this amazing repository which i'll link in the youtube description kunash stability diffusion to gui and then click open google collab notebook after you click open run everything after that go here select depth to image upload an image of your choice and then give a prompt that is closely relevant to what you want and then it's going to take a couple of minutes again to run all the to download all the depth to image model and then it is going to generate depth to image on collab it takes about like 40 to 50 seconds for every image for steps 25 and guidance kill 7.5 for a 768 by 768 image i hope this tutorial was helpful to you in learning how to do depth to image if you have got any question let me know in the comment section happy prompting